Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ripple has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators EMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. Looking at the Ripple hourly time frame, the price moved down with around 1.9% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 19.4 cents. However, the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Next, looking at the exponential moving average, or short EMA, it is calculated similarly to the simple moving average, but places a greater weight and significance on the most recent data points. This means that the EMA moves quicker to the current direction of the price and could signal faster a trend change. The ribbon we are showing is composed of eight different EMAs that together show more accurate the trend. Now looking at the current hourly exponential moving averages, we can see that the price is situated in the hourly ribbon, so it is yet to be seen if the price can break the resistance currently at around 19.4 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, contrary to expectations, following the bearing divergence, the price went up and then quickly back down. Jumping to the stochastic RSI, like the RSI, it also shows when a price has been oversold or overbought. The stochastic RSI, however, improves sensitivity and generated a higher number of signals by moving quicker up and down. It consists of the percent %K and percent %D lines. The percent %D line is a moving average of the percent %K line, meaning that it moves slower. Cross points between the two lines can be perceived as showing a change in the trend. If we now look at the current hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Jumping to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is in the three hourly ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 19.4 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Looking at the three hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the daily ribbon, which is habitually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 22.3 cents. The resistance should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. Jumping to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. 
Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. Next time.